What? That's not real? No, it's foam. Or you could say cobble foam, not cobblestone. Get it? But this is Rock of the Great. And in today's video, it's very easy, but it's very tedious. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with ease, like everything on this channel. Stay tuned and let's get right to it. For those new to dioramas, what you're gonna need is XPS foam or insulation foam. You get it at Lowe's, Home Depot. This is the pink one. The pink one is from Home Depot. The blue one is from Lowe's. Then you'll need a pen and you'll need a X-Acto knife, but you, you might not even need an X-Acto knife actually, but you could always have one. I use this type of blade. Very simple, but very, very tedious. You're just gonna wanna start drawing circles. You could do any type of pattern here. I would look up cobblestone on, on Google or whatever search engine you use and just try and copy the pattern or just go freehand. That's what I did. It's actually a lot of work, but it's pretty relieving. It's like stress relieving with this. It's not like doing normal bricks because it's basically just anything. So it, it's, you could just put any circles in any position you want. The whole trick of it is now when you get to this part, you're going to want to get your pen and in the cracks of where the circles are, the crevices, you just want to push down a little bit. So you're not like coloring it to get a different color. You just want that pressure. So you're going to want to just push down in those cracks so you could get the rocks nice popping like that, like as we see right here. Now what you're going to want to do is get your tinfoil ball. For those of you who are new to dioramas, this is to add texture to your diorama parts. It just pushes the pink foam in, in different areas and it gives it like a rocky texture. People actually use rocks for this, but I think who wants to touch a dirty rock? I like the tin foil. It works. It's great. It's fine. Get some tin foil and just go nuts on it. You know, you rocks are rocks so they can look as messed up as you can. And making these indents is great because when you get to the painting process, it's going to make little craters so the paint will go in that and it'll just look really nice and it'll look very detailed. It's very important to this diorama process so don't want to skip on this. Alright here comes the fun part. You're going to want to get your mixture of Mod Podge and Black Craft paint. Use the cheapest paint you can get at the dollar store and you get Mod Podge. You mix it up and you just start base coating this bad boy. Get it in every groove. The grooves are very important. You're going to want to get it deep inside the grooves. This is to get a hard coating layer base coat so when you do add dry brushing on top it looks very nice very pro okay here we're getting to the coloring you're gonna just pick the color way you want and just start coloring different rocks i tried dry brushing i didn't like it so i just started coloring rocks different colors from here and it again this is a very loose tutorial so it's mainly up to you and what you want i just looked up like earthy colors and I went with that. It's very, very easy part. I did all different kinds of colors, you could see. Yeah, take a little close-up look. Remember, it doesn't have to be super neat because, oh, I got paint on my thing, hold on. All right, so final step. We are just going to put a little black wash on here. This is a mix of water, cheap black paint, and Mod Podge. It should go into all the crevices and cracks and details and just make the piece pop. Because right now, it's cool as is, if you want, but you know, if this is a wall or a floor, it's gonna be dirtier. And black washes just always help things look nicer. So let's give this a black wash and come back and hopefully it looks great. Okay, now with the black wash all dried, bricks came out better than I thought, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you will go make some cobblestone walls or floors. You could use this for anything. Thank you guys for watching. Instagram always down below. Subscribe, like the video, comment. You know all the drill. All right, thanks guys. Stay great. Peace. Hey guys, it's Rock of the Great. If you're watching this, this is my second channel. Why don't you jump over to my main channel and hit the subscribe button for full videos, lots of toy hunts, lots of fun over there. I'll see you on my main page. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just put up a ton of brand new stuff on my merch website. Link is always down below. Buy some merch, help support the channel. Buy my merch, buy my merch, buy my merch. Hey guys, want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel.